Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is Debbie. And you're going to see over here where all of my tomatoes were. There are a lot less tomatoes and they're a lot skinnier than they were. Um, and that's because I have came in here and trimmed all of those dead looking leaves that were on there. As at least most of them that I could find. Um, trimmed up some of the tomatoes over here in the <coughs> galvanized steel container next to the door. This is our kitchen door over here. So we've got those all cleaned up. We have a few tomatoes that are left, basically the stragglers. And that will be about it over here in this section. These are the container tomatoes. So we have already started repurposing the containers. We got these cleaned up as well. These were the, the red pear tomatoes, the Cherokee purple, and the Jubilee. We got those all cleaned up. They are actually starting to put more tomatoes on again. You can see one here at the top on each one of them. And a few more of the red pear. And that one's actually um, producing some more blooms and stuff as well. And you can see our cucumbers have just about made it to nearly the top of the tomato vines. And these tomato vines are about six feet tall. They're pretty tall at this point. They're actually taller than our corn. So we had a few containers of tomatoes that we had planted a lot later, and those are over here in front of those tomatoes. You see one of them is starting to bloom. This is the speckled Roma. So hopefully we'll get some out of those, but I did have to trim those up as well. We've had a lot of issues this season with browning leaves, and it's just because of all of that cool and wet that we had for so long. And we did have a couple of rainstorms over the past two days as well. <clears throat> So we still have that going on and we still have tomatoes out here. We did clean these up as well, trimmed off the dead bottom leaves on those. But in here in the kiddie pool, there's some in here that um, are just basically beyond trimming. So I'm just going to leave them to finish out what they have. We've got one tomato plant in there that's doing really, really well. Let me show you that one. This one is still doing really, really well. Um, got a few little yellowing of some leaves down at the bottom, but otherwise still looks really good. And this super sauce tomato is still doing all okay. Um, does have some browning of leaves. So hopefully they'll get to finish out what we have. We have some pretty large tomatoes on these. And I did actually find a really super large tomato in one of the kiddie pools just a couple of days ago and let me show you that I'll have to go around everything because it is hanging way back behind everything and this guy is enormous right now it's probably about three pounds and it's still very very green and very firm so it's got a long way to go so anyway that's what's been going on for the last couple of days we've been transplanting some strawberries out of the garden towers to get them prepared for winter. They will not overwinter in the garden towers. It'll freeze the roots. So we have them over here in these containers. So hopefully they'll take off really well in those and uh, get to overwinter in that. We also stuck a few in our big kitty pool of strawberries over here. So those should take off really well in there. And these guys are still producing. We've still got strawberries all over the place. We've got a couple of in empty containers over here that we'll probably put some cabbages in. So we've got one, two, three back here. And our strawberries actually took hold in this container here. And it does have some bee balm in it as well. So I'm going to let those continue to go as they are. We did go ahead and put a couple of runners in this container as well. This was where a tomatillo was. The tomatillos were finished. We pulled those out and we put a few of the runners in these and they were already rooted in and they've only been in there two days. So we have that going on and here's the garden tower that we pulled the strawberries out of. The only thing that's left in here is a couple of marigolds and we did have a couple of runners 
that had some strawberries on them. And we just went ahead and stuck these in here, see if they'll get rooted in as well and get those taken off. And then we will take them out. As soon as they get rooted in, we will take them out of there and get them rooted into another container just so they keep going. And I still had 12 extra runners um, that were rooted that I went ahead and pulled out and we've got those up for sale on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So we'll have 12 plants to get to new homes. These are Fort Laramie strawberries as well as uh, Berry Basket Whites galore. And we do have one of our tomato plants that just took off. These are the ones that we just cleaned up. It took off and it started blooming. This is a red pear rooted sucker. And it does have a few tomatoes on it. So hopefully we will have some tomatoes come out of those. It's actually kind of hot today out here. Um, we've had a couple of cool days and today it's uh, a lot warmer. I think we're probably up in the 80s. So we planted some basil and some cabbages in a couple of containers over here. These are the tomatoes that were done. We had our lemon boys over here. Those were finished out. So we've got basil in here, six different types. And then we're going to plant some more cabbages in here. And then here is all of the containers that were left from the cleanup of the tomatoes. So we repurposed those. We've got um, a spearmint that we just planted as well as an English lavender that had taken off that we had started from seed. And then the rest of these all have cabbages in them that we just planted the seed for, for fall cabbage. So hopefully we'll get some of those. We did get some seeds ordered for um, fall winter cabbage as well called Brunswick cabbage. That's supposed to be a variety of cabbage that does do really well in the winter time. And um, it is a both green and red variety of cabbage. So it's really, really pretty. So hopefully we'll get some of those seeds started soon. And we did go ahead and get these tomatoes kind of trimmed up a little bit. Not everything, just, just enough to get them up and going. This one's doing really, really well. I think this one is a Berkeley tie-dye, to be honest. But um, it's just been a really rough season with browning on tomato leaves. We had a lot of hailstorms that kept hitting the stems. So they have really battled and struggled all season long. Now we're battling squirrels. We have squirrels that keep getting into our sunflowers. They have destroyed probably 20 or 30 sunflowers at this point. And now they're starting to actually attack some of my squash. So we are putting some more pans out and about in different areas. Hopefully that'll keep them deterred. Otherwise I may have to start trapping them. Um, that's just the way it is. So when it comes to animals, and destroying food in the garden, then we will trap them. So here we go with all of the garden goodness going on right now. We've had some issues with some black flies, so it's kind of hard to get out here and work in the garden because you keep getting bitten by black flies and they can actually make you sick. So you can see here we're missing a red curry squash that was right here and all is left is the remnants from a squirrel and it started attacking one of my other red curry squash. You can see a, a bite out of it. So we've got two or three more red curries in here that they haven't touched as yet, but it'll probably just be a matter of time. So I've got a pan that I just put over here on one of my towers that is banging around and hopefully that will keep them deterred. If that doesn't work, then as I was saying earlier, we will start trapping them. So lots of stuff going on here in the garden. So hope everybody is doing really well wherever you are. We're getting towards September. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out. We'll see you in the next one.